Well, here we go again. This is the pan I just recently put on. I got lazy and didn't bother to dig too much out of it. As you can see, there's still a bit in there. And that little bottle. That is what I got out of it already. There's my nugget. I just had that weighed. It's 10.30 two grams and I broke a piece of quartz that I had in the basement open last night and one of them showed a really nice nugget and a lot of little speckles on the top I don't know if you can see them or not and then there's one here they got out well that's got one little piece in it but it looks like it's goes in there about a quarter of an inch so might be something else in there when I break her up and move some of this junk out of the way as you can see there is still some gold in here I'm gonna dig out and I'll save all this crushed up stuff for buddy and Chris in Texas Uh, we're expecting a big snowstorm tonight, Christ, uh, I don't know, It'll probably be like June before we get back in there again, digging around, but that area where I go, it's been, uh, been settled, I think, in the 1770s, 1780s, uh, when they started finding gold down that way, it was, uh, maybe 1800s like that when they started to make roads and stuff they said they everywhere they dug there was gold so the first mines down there were mid 1800s and you can still get in there and move around and see the trenches where the old prospectors were, would dig trenches so I just get in there and redig yeah, yeah, that's a nice sample there. I looked at it. Where did some of this rice spill it again? Yeah, nice, nice nugget. 10.30 grams. Very cool. Well, later on today, I'll dig the rest of this gold over there and put the rest of that sand in a bottle for send away. Anyways, guys, I was going to try to tell you some stories, but can't fucking remember any. <laughs> we'll, uh, what happens the next few days I'm back and we'll see you all later on thanks and goodbye